when I just got into high school, I first discovered what burnout exactly is. I didn't used to meet with this thing burnout before, so I was a bit perplexed at first because um, it was quite challenging to keep up with all of my hobbies, all of my interests, activities and uh, my responsibilities like homework, essays, extra projects, uh, presentations and uh, I also wanted to play sports, I wanted to keep myself fit, I wanted to, to run, I wanted to do pilates and I also wanted to spend more time with my family and my friends and uh, yeah I needed time to sleep and I just felt that there are not a lot of hours in the day to keep up with all of my activities and bonds. I first thought that it's time to create some sort of schedule for me, a to-do list or just a routine. But back then I didn't understand how to create it in a more efficient way so that I could uh, um, allocate time both for my studies and for relaxing. I tried a bunch of different techniques from uh, switching between uh, days of the week to allocating uh, time for specific tasks only for a week and then changing then uh, studying in the evening and studying in the morning uh, running in the morning, running in the evening and sometimes it just didn't work for me at all I I think that I tried more than 20 ways actually in my routine schedule in this video I'm gonna show you exactly what worked for me and why it might work for you as well how to create an efficient study session how to create an efficient routines and schedule both when I, you feel a bit down and you don't have a lot of motivation to do something and when you're ready to work, when you're ready to study and when you're motivated to complete every task you had on your to-do list. Let's go! The first thing you should do when you wake up is do a meditation practice. Sometimes it's just doesn't feel like it or you don't have a lot of time to do this but try to wake up uh, like five ten minutes earlier than you usually do and just sit a bit and uh, try not to fall asleep but um, uh, remember what you ha have to do today what plans do you have what to do list you have to do and uh, just uh, sit for this ten minutes because you probably won't have time in other times of the day so this will be your time with you with your thoughts and like this you will be able to uh, start and uh, get your mind ready for working and for an active day that waits you as i already said i used to really struggle with finding time when i should exercise uh, i tried exercising in the evening in the midday and uh, in the morning. With my busy schedule, when I have school and I just don't know how I can exercise in the midday or in the evening because I have to do my homework and prepare for the next day, the only time I had for exercising was actually early mornings. And uh, I personally feel that this is the best time to exercise. When you finish your workout or your running session or your uh, yoga pilates session you will feel so motivated to do any other task your focus will just skyrocket because you already completed one task and you will feel much more motivated to do any other task uh, any other project than if you just slept it doesn't have to be harsh at first uh, I like uh, to start uh, when I don't have any motivation with some yoga, uh, some mobility session. It's also great for uh, stretching, for recovery muscles, because as a runner I used to really struggle with finding balance when I should exercise and when I should rest. And mobility sessions combines working out and uh, stretching. So if you want something uh, like a mix, not too easy and not too hard on you, try mobility sessions. 
you can try Pilates. There are different types of Pilates on the internet, uh, on YouTube. You can uh, watch my previous videos when I film uh, uh, some yoga sessions and Pilates if you're interested. I found that running is the best way to exercise for me as I feel that my focus levels and attention span greatly increased when I started running. This is exactly why after exercising I start with my least favorite task on my to-do list. Why am I doing this? This is one of the practices that I mentioned in my previous videos. Eat that frog. This tactic is great when you have your least favorite task on your to-do list and your, this is a task that you are most likely to procrastinate on. You should aim to complete your least favorite task early in the day to feel refreshed and feel easy on your mind and your brain that you have completed the task that you really didn't want to do. For instance, when I had exams, I used to really procrastinate on my study sessions and prep for my exams. So the first thing I did after my exercise time, I uh, practiced for my upcoming exams. I sit for uh, two hours to practice for my exams. I didn't um, study exactly for two hours with no breaks. I used uh, and I use now Pomodoro sessions. Pomodoro sessions is uh, basically a time when you allocate 25 minutes for your working session and five minutes for your break. You can uh, change and uh, twiggle it uh, that works best for you, but for me exactly 25 and 5 slots works the best. After four uh, study sessions by 25 or 5 minutes, I uh, give myself a 10 minutes break so that I can just uh, reward myself in this way. And I actually wanted to mention, I do study sessions when I don't have school, like on my weekends or on my holidays, right? Like right now, summer holidays. But when I actually have school, I just, after my workout sessions, I get done and go to school. In school, of course, I study. And then uh, uh, after this, I have a different routine. But for now, let's talk about when the time when I have a holiday and I don't have school. What I personally love to do when I finish my study sessions is to go for a walk, short walk, and if I don't feel like it, and long walk if I really up to it. Sometimes I go to a cafe or just walk in a park, and what I love to do in the park is actually reading some books. So here are some suggestions uh, with my favorite book that I personally love and uh, some books that uplift your life, uplift your motivation, your completely change your perception of life and how you get down with things and uh, how you complete them. So here are my top books. If you want some food for your thoughts, here are here is the best book, I think. Uh, it is written by Stephen Hawking and it's called A Brief History of Time. Basically, this, uh, this short summaries of uh, um, the series of the beam bang and black holes. So if you are a bit physics <laughs> nerd, this is the best for you. The second book I personally love, I read it, I think, twice, just because I love the way it's written. It is uh, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, and it's written by Yuval Noah Harari. This was my first book that I have read in uh, this type of writing. It was a bit hard at first, but when I finished reading this, I have understood exactly how our world worked, how our world is working right now, and how it probably will work with this book, also written by Yuval Noah Harari, but this time it's 29 lessons for the 21st century. This book uh, summarizes everything from economy to social life to social behaviors and these two are the must-haves to it for everybody. After I get from my walk, I generally do another study session. 
uh, at this time about uh, two to three hours and I allocate this time either for YouTube filming or editing or for programming sessions, uh, something to uh, keep up with my hobbies and activities that will benefit me in my career or to uplift my skills. I love to learn coding is actually learn by doing. I used to really struggle with tutorial hells, if you know this. Basically, tutorial hell is when you watch a bunch of tutorials on YouTube and uh, you feel like you're learning something, but you actually do not. And uh, I started with machine learning competition on Kaggle. This is uh, the game changer for me because uh, I actually started thinking by me, by myself. And uh, after that, I uh, started to create some projects in web development. And uh, now I'm working on my projects with my some colleagues. And uh, yeah, basically like this, I also uplift and improve my programming skills. If you want to start learning coding for free and uh, in a very effective way, you can learn it by uh, on some websites like Free Code Camp or Code Academy. I personally use Free Code Camp at the moment because they have a really structured way of uh, information and uh, you can learn by doing as I like. By the time it's probably already evening, so the time where I'm in school and on holiday match up. And in this time, I love doing some uh, yoga, uh, mobility sessions if I run. And just the second yoga session if I did yoga or mobility session in the morning. It's really helped me to calm down with my thoughts and to just uh, understand what I have done throughout the day and what I can do better. After yoga sessions, I decided that I will allocate some time from 30 minutes to an hour for my journaling. I started first with just uh, a daily uh, questions like what you have learned from today, what are you grateful for today, this has changed my perception of my life, what I can improve and why can I work on. Now I added some shadow work uh, questions. This is basically questions that help you to work on your childhood traumas and uh, to understand your weaknesses. After all of this I also love reading some books. <laughs> I'm a book nerd, honestly. But this time I like reading something more chill, something more comfort. So here are also my top books for your comfort, for ease in mind. First thing, if you love about learning about design, about fashion, uh, this is a book about the uh, history of Dior. This is basically a book with all of the photos from uh, early Dior to uh, Dior of this time. It is a book series, I guess, yeah. They also have a book about Chanel, Gucci, Louis Vuitton and Prada. I personally read the only Dior, but I think uh, about other uh, fashion brands also would be extremely interesting. Next book is Hugue. This must have an Honestly, this book is about everything, how to create a comfort life, how to uh, create a peace in your surroundings, in your home style. And I use this book as an inspiration for my home design, for my room style and for my basically how I want to structure my way of living. The last book in the series will be uh, Look. <laughs> This is also the almost the same thing as this book. It's written by the same author, uh, Make Picking, and it's also about the way um, Danish people live, how they can, how they approach their life, how they love the simple things, and how we can learn from them. Before bed, I try not to use my phone at all. At all because it can heighten up your cortisol levels if you use your phone before bed. Blue 
screen uh, uh, from your phone can actually mess up your sleeping schedule and your sleeping habits. So try to limit or not use your phone at all before bedtime. This is all for today. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and share your opinions in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.